If Colorado lawmakers want to hold landlords more accountable for unsafe and unhealthy living conditions. And today, the Senate passed a bill aimed at doing just that. So it comes as people living in one Denver apartment complex haven't had access to water, hot water at least, for a week. Tonight, Denver 7's Brandon Richard getting a better look at some of the issues that that complex has faced before. The people at Welton Park Apartments in Denver's Five Points neighborhood have been living through a nightmare. Literally one of the most exhausting things I've ever dealt with. Without any running water for nearly a week, people were forced to use portable restrooms and had to sign up to take showers in another building. We need our water. We can't be living out of porta potties and a hose out back for the rest of the month. Cold water began running in some units over the weekend, but management doesn't expect hot water to begin flowing again until Wednesday. Data from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development shows the apartment complex has seen problems before. In 2019, building inspectors with HUD gave the apartment complex a score of 78 on a scale of 100. The C next to the score indicating inspectors found at least one health and safety issue requiring immediate attention. In 2023, the apartment complex received a 67. And once again, inspectors found at least one health and safety issue requiring immediate attention, along with a deficiency with smoke alarms. But it is exactly those types of issues right, that threaten people's um, health and safety that we are trying to address. State Senator Julie Gonzalez is pushing a bill that would require landlords to make repairs in a certain amount of time, seven or 14 days, depending on the issue and severity. Opponents of the bill say adding more requirements for landlords will have unintended consequences. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you dice it, rents will go up. This idea that somehow providing tenants with a safe and healthy place to live is going to raise rental costs doesn't make sense to me. Bill 94 passed the Colorado Senate by a vote of 21-13, now heads over to the House. Reporting at the Capitol, Brandon Rick, Denver 7. Colorado lawmakers are also considering legislation to ban no-cause evictions. House Democrats advanced a bill that would prevent landlords from evicting tenants or refusing to renew their leases without a legitimate reason. It requires landlords to have a legally recognized cause to kick someone out of their home. Democrats tried and failed to pass a similar bill last year, but they tell Denver 7 they're more confident in this year's version. It's narrower and includes some changes requested last year by Republicans. And the Colorado House also passed a bill today that would prevent excessive increases in rent in the wake of a natural disaster. House Bill 241259 would help protect Coloradans who lost their home in a natural disaster from being taken advantage of by price gouging in rent. So after a disaster is declared by either the governor or the president, rent increases would be capped for two years.